In this video, I'm going to show you something interesting. We're going to talk about the browser panel. Now you might be wondering what's so special about the browser panel. You already know how to get your data from it. Well, yes, get ready for some tricks that you didn't know about. And please do comment down below what you found interesting. So when you open your software, this is your browser panel. You just use it to navigate your data, be it local or from database or web map services. Now we know that this is for the local drives, right? So if I have my data inside my D drive, I have to just drop this, drop the data. And for this video, I'm going to come to world. Let's drop the world folder. And we have a couple of data about the world, countries, continents, etc. What we can actually do here is that if I select this world administrative boundaries, GeoJSON, I can just right click. And from here, you could execute it or you could even export it to a different file like GeoPackage or Ship. So you could just get a new file out of a different file format without opening it in QGIS. Or you could look up your layer properties and manage other things like renaming and deleting. You could also show it in files. Just open it in your file explorer, the directory. Or you could look up your file properties just from here. So now when you do all this, you see I'm dropping a lot of directories and you could fill up the whole browser panel with just open directories. And if you want to go back in just one click, come over to this tool and hit collapse all. Everything goes back to normal. And remember to use the refresh regularly because sometimes you add up data and for some reason it didn't show up, just hit your refresh and everything from your directories will be available. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the filter browser. Sometimes you have a lot of uh, map providers or you have a lot of database services running here and it could be so stressful sometimes to just be going through all of this. You could hit your browser and search for what exactly you need. So maybe I wanted to go to the home. You could just search home and hit project home. Or we could also just set XYZ and it will give us a filtered browser showing only XYG. So if we just open OpenStreetMap or that some other thing. Aside that, when you click on the settings tool, you could either check the case sensitive so that whatever you type in will have to match exactly the case of the results you are expecting. Now the next thing you can do is to use this I2, which is the properties widget. What does it do? So in case I try to open up some data, you go to D drive, go to data, and I open up the world folder. If you want to preview it, you just select the layer and hit the properties. Now this will open up a different widget. Let's just resize this. Now what it does is it shows you the metadata of the file. That's interesting. You don't need to open it up in QGIS before you, you inspect all this. It gives you the metadata and above all, it gives you a preview. So when you come to the preview, it shows you what it actually looks like. So this the special. So you can zoom in or zoom out, out of it. And this just for you to inspect, maybe get to say, okay, this is what I want to open. Or, okay, no, this is not actually what I was expecting. Or just have an idea of what you're going to open. And you can also look at the attributes. That's just the attribute table, actually. So you can have all of the information right here without opening it. Sometimes you don't need to open everything up in QGIS for some petty inspection before you actually have to take it back or retain it. You can just do all of that right here. So after all this, you just have to click on this again to send it away. And let's collapse everything else and refresh. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment, and catch you in my next video.